Hey, it's Nicholas Mack. Another video. Another day. Yeah. Now, if you're as old and decrepit as I am, you might remember a distro called Teen Pup, based on Puppy Linux. Now I'm going back now. Back, back, back in time to probably when some of you weren't even born. But yeah. And it was a puppy based distro to help to keep low end machines running. Now this went on for quite a while, then it changed its name to Legacy OS. And it went on for a little while, then it got to the point, and I think the guy just went, oh, I've had enough, I'm having a rest. I've had enough. And all of a sudden, we get this. Legacy OS 2023. Ooh, a bit different nowadays, though. Just let me have some adult apple juice, and I'll tell you more. Hang on. Mmm. Apple-y. So, anyway, here we are. Now, before anybody says, oh, it's not filling the screen, Sneaky, I couldn't get VirtualBox guest editions to um, actually do its stuff. So that's the best resolution I could get for my monitor. But hey, we get most of the screen, okay? If I had a bigger screen, it would have fitted fine. Now, nowadays, it's based on a Debian stroke NTX, which is probably the reason why the resolution problems. And I found this with a lot of Debian uh, releases so far. But anyway... He's brought it back, and apparently he's going to keep updating it. So that'd be pretty cool, wouldn't it? So I thought, we'll give you a little look around how it used to be. And I think he's got the same goals of keeping old machines running, because basically NTX is for that at the end of the day, isn't it? So it looks quite nice, yes. When you first boot, you get an option of what uh, desktop manager you want to use, um, what theming you want to use. You get to choose that before you even log in. Now, I've in installed this into the VB, of course. I'll, I might even try doing it on a full install, actually, just just to see what happens, really. But we'll come to that another day. There's only so many hours in a day, and 48 is not enough, okay? So, here we are. Time. All your stuff down here. So, my CPU, my RAM, my swap, my network, my sound, and my keyboard. Yes, you do get the option. Remember, it uses the Debian installer or the Antix installer, and you get to choose all this. Remember, when you are installing it, please keep an eye on the screen because it will ask you to do some things. And it doesn't get stuck. It wants you to do something, okay? It really does want you to do something. We get our two basic desktops here. And then we've got over here, show desktop. We have software installer. I'll come to that in a bit. Unplug USB devices, okay, or removable even. Your file manager, your web browser, Synaptic Package Manager is here. And your Rocks Terminal. You also get another terminal, by the way. And for default, we're using Only Office. So I'm going to click on Only Office. Comes up really good, doesn't it? Okay. Remember, there's no guest editions here, so it's quite good. I've only given it a couple of cores, so it's, it's, it is running basically on an old machine. We fire up a desktop document. Yeah, that's not too bad, is it, really? I can't complain. It is a bit laggy at the moment, but I imagine that's because it's not on real hardware. So I'm not going to fault it at that whatsoever. Our menu is on the bottom left-hand corner, as most of the time it would be. And so we're going to go through a few little things here for you to see. Terminal. You get your Rocks File Manager and you get your PC Man File Manager. Okay. Your basic web browser, your editor, app select, your applications. I'm not going to go through them all with you, obviously, because you can go and get it yourself and have a look. Uh, when I first tried to download this when it first was released, I didn't get any speed, so I waited for a day. And now the download speeds are quite good, so yeah, happy days. Personal, recent files, your desktops, your app killer, your control center, which is what I'm going to go to first. So this is the control center. I'm going to bring it down. Come down, come down. See, I mean, a bit laggy in VirtualBox, because I couldn't get the editions. I could give it more cores, but I'm not going to. Because that's not what it's supposed to be. Desktop, you can change your wallpaper, your ISWM settings, your font size and customization, and preferred applications. Software, we get a package updater. So, should we do that? Oh, I, I have already done that actually, but I'm going to do it again. It wants my password. We'll give it a go. It's going to go through its stuff and see what we got. But it should be okay. They're in their uh, package installer, which I'll show you in a minute. You do get a lot of stuff. You see, I've already updated it. Let's go to their package installer. Let's open them up. 
there we go so if i go to i want to find internet tonight so, uh, is it come under internet i don't know see on purpose i didn't go through it too quickly because i wanted to go with it with you lot to be honest with you oh, we get latex oh you don't find that very often do you very oh yeah if nobody knows what latex is ask me in the description and i'll tell you but if you've been to university you know what i mean so if i put in so what well, i'm going to put in chrome and see what happens i can download google chrome from here you don't go to the site and download the deb you go here so i'm going to install that because i've got plenty of room it's doing its stuff and we can see if it goes bang now in theory this should go all hunky dory remember it's only just been released and there may be problems but in theory yeah it should be it's anti-x in it oh here we go let's bring him up do you want to continue of course i do yes so basically it's just the front end really to apps isn't it really when you think about it it also needs uh, libu2f you dev oh okay that's fine by me fetched selecting doing its stuff and in theory chrome should be installed very very soon nice way of doing it i like that it has come back like a cos because it did uh, when it was around it did run on really really old hardware and i mean stuff that you couldn't get to run at all nowadays we're done see we get this but i can live with that it's not a big deal is it do you want to x package motor yeah one yes we're done so if i actually go down to the menu and we go to applications and we go to internet is chrome in there already have i got to update it i uh, oh there it is already I'll give it a click see what happens yeah okay we'll do that super duper what can you say mm. so we do that one more time so other stuff we can find Oh, you can download the docs, plank and tint, email clients, file, man oh, file managers. Well, we've got PC Man FM. The ones that are greyed out are the ones that are already installed. Uh, it's only three, but on a low end machine, you don't want much more than that, do you? Uh, under games, what have we got? Play on Linux, simple card game. You can have Steam. Okay, so on a hardware install, be no problem at all, would it? That'd be super duper. Uh, let's go to video. What we got here? Okay, live, M player, open shot, SM player. You get VLC, Steam Light, and SM Tube as standard. I like it. That's quite good, isn't it? Office. Okay. The old school ones was Abbey Word and G New Do you remember? You can still get them, but you can get the latest LibreOffice if you want to. That's superb. Okay, that's enough of that. We're still on the control center. I might have to leave this on for a bit and go for it another time. I don't want to make these videos too long because we all get bored, don't we? You can auto remove your packages, blah, 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 blah. System. Choose stuff on the surfaces. That's good. Network. Select all your stuff. So you can do Wi Fi if you want to. So it's really, really come up to date. That's really good. Do your shares, session. Right. In virtual machine, every time. You boot the machine you have to reset your screen resolution this is the best i can get it to be honest with you i wasn't expecting too much anyway i'm not gonna lie to you okay at least it works better than to scale oh, pain at the back side that was auto mount all your stuff live usb maker image petition image petition that's probably good, yeah super under your hardware your print settings pc information shall i click there yeah that's why not Hmm. I can find it anything I want. A lucky. That's good. Okay. Look at that. Choose your sound card. Test sounds. Remember, a lot of this is from NTX. Right. This little bit over here is really good. Got an NVIDIA card. Get the NVIDIA driver. It'll make it run super. Got a brother printer. Oh, yeah. They're quite awkward. To f I've never had a brother printer, so I know they're a pain at the backside. Maintenance. ISO snapshot, system backup, network assistant, boot repair, menu set, and user. Ooh. So if it does go bang, you can put the uh, USB stick in or your DVD, if you still have one, and you should be able to repair it. That's, pr excuse me, that's pretty snazzy, isn't it? 
I like it. What sort of compact? Um, no, we don't know already. Got Synaptic as standard, by the way. Just please humour me on this one. I'm just going to search for. It may be here. Let's see. You know what I'm going for, don't you? We'll just see if it comes up. You can get a simple screen recorder. Oh, you get a peak with it as standard. See, I did say I didn't go through it too much. I've just been trying to get it to work properly, to be honest with you, and make sure everything came up all right. Uh, the other thing I was going to tell you, yeah. When you first want to log in from your USB stick or your DVD, you have to log in with your username and your password. Now, obviously, they don't tell you this, but I found out for you it's demo and demo. And it will boot you into the installer. And you can go, off you go then. And I think if you want to go to the live section, it's just a live, live run. I think it's live run you have to put in. But as you can see, it's using nothing here. It'd be ideal for an old two core machine and it should run. Okay. So what? No, I'm not going to do that. We'll just go up to the web browser. As standard is Firefox. It did update earlier. Okay. Here we go. And as you can see, it is based on NTX. But kudos to the guy. He's got it running again. He's got his mojo back and he's ready to rock and roll. I like it. We're going to come back to this and go to other stuff because that's enough for now. Legacy OS. Glad you're back, guys. Nice. Sneaky Linux out. God bless Team Pup. Bye-bye.